Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on how to contribute to Sumo Logic Docs. In this video, I'll show you how to make simple edits to our doc site, help.sumologic.com, and get them published. The documentation site is built with Docusaurus, the same system that Meta uses for its developer documentation. Files are checked into a GitHub repository for version control. To edit these docs, all you need is your own GitHub ID. If you don't have one already, you can create one from here. Here's an example doc page for data enrichment. You can choose to edit any page in the help docs by scrolling down to the bottom of the page and clicking Edit This Page, where you'll be taken to GitHub to provide your edits. As part of the submission process, you'll be prompted to create a new repository fork for your changes. Click Fork This Repository to continue. Now you can apply your edits to the doc. If you have more extensive edits, see How to Create Documentation for Sumo. When you are finished, submitting your changes is easy. Scroll down beneath the doc, enter a brief summary of your changes in the description field, then click Propose Changes. You are now about to create a pull request and send those changes to the Sumo Doc's technical writers for review. Click Create Pull Request, then check the box for Minor Changes. As is standard for open source docs, all contributors are required to sign our Contributor License Agreement, or CLA. Scroll down to find our CLA bot comment, click Sign Your Name Here, then Review and Accept the CLA Terms. After submission, you'll receive a GitHub notification stating whether a Sumo Tech Writer has approved your changes or requested further edits. If further edits are requested, Go to the Files Changed tab to review the writer's comments. To apply their suggestion, click Commit Suggestion, then Commit Changes. Then click the Conversation tab, and then Re-Request Review. Wait until all the pull request checks have passed. Then click Update Branch to merge and publish your changes. Thanks for watching.